Hi, my name is Denise Deneen and this is Holistic Happenings. I'm in Granby, Massachusetts at Total Body Yoga and Pilates Fitness Studio with owner Heidi McEwen. Hi, Heidi. <laughs> I'm Denise. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm excited to have you here. I'm very excited to bring the camera into your beautiful space and to get out of the studio and, mm -hmm. and, do, and do this. This is such a beautiful space that you have and uh, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. The name of your studio is Total Body Yoga and Pilates, yes. and so you offer that to your clients, and um, that's not all you do. It's no, it's not all. Um, we're a barefoot studio. Um, it and everything is so yoga, Pilates, but dance movement. We offer balatone classes, mm. Pio. Um, of which is a fusion of your Pilates and your yoga together, uh, set to really cool music and fun moves. Mm -hmm. um, the Bosu, yes. which is a balance trainer, right. and um, yeah, and stability ball, foam rolling, so a little bit of everything, so but it's everything. all interwoven into breath, balance, right. posture. Yes. So, oh. yeah. Nice. It's good. So you've been doing this for some time now. I know we met. You told me this uh, what the other uh, last week. How how long it's been since? Yeah. Well, well, you and I we met. Yes, we <laughs> we met. So our first meeting is when we graduated. Well, we went through the two hundred hour right. yoga teacher training together. Right. But that was in uh, two thousand thirteen and two thousand fourteen. So we graduated. I know we graduated six years ago from our two hundred hour teacher that. training. Yes. Um, but before that, my journey actually started in fitness. Um, and just finding as I was getting older, I was working in corporate America. I worked mm -hmm. for an insurance company. Mm -hmm. yes. And the stress level from being in corporate America, I needed an outlet. Um, so when I was working at the insurance company, I would, um, I, f I was actually following my first uh, introduction to yoga was Rodney Yee <laughs> tapes way back when. I um, remember him. Yeah, so that was like early 2000. <laughs> And I would take myself into the conference room, lunch break. Again. Yeah, find oh. myself a, a, just a space to sit, to, to stretch, zen to zen, to yeah. breathe. Yeah. And um, when I had an opportunity, it was 2007, I had an opportunity to go to Hawaii. And that was my first introduction to, like, I think a real traditional yoga class. Right. But it was right on the ocean. It was oh. on the beach. And I said, someday. Sounds lovely. Someday. This is so, a little oasis. It's, <laughs> yes, this is my blue oasis. And the closest I could get to Hawaii in Granby, Mass, was to paint my walls. I think they're ocean blue in a you Honolulu. A, um, you did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of where, and I was working as a group fitness instructor. Okay, so at the time when you were working in the corporate world, you were doing that too? Yeah, group fitness instructor. So I was working for Golds in Chicopee. Okay. And I was teaching group fitness classes. Oh, nice. Um, so that's when I first became certified and got into fitness and just the love of group dynamic and fitness. And, mm -hmm. and that was in 2007 and 8. 2008, I was certified right. to teach. Nice. Yeah. And did you leave the corporate world completely? I, I did. I had the opportunity, actually. Things just line up. Things line up they as do. they do. Mm -hmm. You just, you know, they just do. Just be patient and things will happen as they should happen, in which, um, yes, in timing. So there was just one layoff, too many that said um, I took my opportunity through the layoff. Um, I had been introduced to. Gail Stefanelli, Stefanelli um, who had the Granby Stretch right. Yoga. Yes. So in 2008, I met her and started doing yoga with her in her studio mm -hmm. as I was working part time and um, at the Golds. And then when she decided that it was time for her to move south and she wanted to move on, we had, um, she asked me if I thought that I would like to take a chance and make it my own yes. and open the studio so at that point I was just group fitness and Pilates um, trained. It's a big jump though. Yeah, it was a huge right? jump 
but Talk of faith. It, right. But yes. if I hadn't taken the chance, I would have always thought back, you know, what if, could if. Right, right, right. So you don't know until you try. Right. And you had a passion for all this. I did. Yes. I loved it. Yeah. So it just all came about very organically. Yeah. And the yoga is, what type of yoga? There's so many different types yeah. of yoga yeah. out there. So uh, we, our training was Hatha Yoga, um, which is kind of traditional. So it's, it's asana, it's poses, mm -hmm. um, it's meditation, breath, um, pranayama. And um, that was our, our 200 hour was just learning, you know, the, right. the basics, right. the training anatomy, right. huge anatomy and yeah. the history and all of that. Um, and then woven into that, then um, I've continued on. So, yeah. So you have other certifications. Yeah. A lot of certifications. Yeah, there, quite there, a few. <laughs> there, there are quite a few. When I went back through the list to you know meet with you and take a look back on what's happened over you know the last ten oh, years or so, it's been crazy. Yeah. But, um, so after our 200 hour, then I had the opportunity, I went to Kripalu. Yes, and oh, beautiful. I, it was wonderful. Oh. And I did the um, um, the training with Jennifer Reese for the Divine Sleep oh, Yoga, Yoga Nidra. Nidra. Yoga Nidra. Not, not uh, Yoga Ninja. No, but <laughs> you kind of you well, you feel like a Yoga Ninja <laughs> because you can take on the world after you've kind yes. of let everything else go. So, yes, and, and you know, and I thought I was under the misconception about that type of yoga. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was more of, you know, something that you wanted to do at the end of the day and just mm -hmm. relax, which it can be. Can be. But... You can do it anytime, anytime. Um, tw um, it's kind of like estimated about 20 minutes of yoga nidra is equivalent to two to three hours of good restful sleep. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at any point in time, if you've, um, uh, you know, just need to uh, kind of unplug and just let go for mm -hmm. a little bit and recharge, um, you know, like the whole world of, think naps. Right. <laughs> so it's rejuvenating. It's very rejuvenating. Yes. It's, it's energizing. It kind of just takes the weight of the world like off of you and it allows your body to um, heal and our bodies hold amazing healing abilities if we can get our heads out of the way yes. and allow them to. That's true. I teach it in the evening because mm -hmm. I do like, and it's Thursday evenings here. Right. And so I've incorporated it into a restorative mm -hmm. yoga class using props and kind of winding down from so the week. Yes, it's end of the week. Yeah, end of the week. Kind of, oh, it's yummy to just to get in there and just relax a little bit. Yeah. Before. Yeah. 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 So it, it's a guided relaxation. Mm -hmm. It's a guided meditation. Um, they actually, the, um, there's amazing health benefits to it. Mm. So it's a very holistic practice. Yes. Um, and it is, um, they use it in most all of the military hospitals to help, you know, with the PTSD. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Um, and there's yeah the other thing we talked about was um, one of the oncologists from Cornell University. Yes. And it's used to be able because of the chronic pain associated with the chemo keep, and radiation. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we can just you know just kind of like desensitize and allow the body to just come into a kind of a restful, peaceful place that we can heal. It's the, it's the mind, the body, and then when you're a cancer patient um, and you're having all these things done to you, like you, you have no control over some of it, you feel like you don't have control over your body, and you're having all these really hard and, and sometimes um, painful things done to you, um, it kind of helps you get back to you know, being in your body and feeling and, 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 and taking control over that, right? So yeah. you're providing all these other things yeah. um, to, to the people that are going through that too. Mm -hmm. It's been, it's been wonderful. We've been doing that since 2015, so this is five wow. years. That's yeah. quite a long time. Five years we've been doing that. Yeah. Nice. Yep, and then two years ago, um, knowing I wanted to just take, continue and take it to the next level, um, I started my training with Patty Townsend and Yoga Center of yes. Amherst, 
and doing her embody yoga. Oh, that's in a beautiful, um, beautiful place. Yes, it, yes it's it, it, amazing. Um, just to take it, even the yoga, you know, that whole connection, a little it, it's cellular. Take yes. it. So it's not so much what a what a pose looks like, mm -hmm. but how you feel. So that's what embodiment yoga is. Yeah, is that, it, it is it a little bit like what we're used to as traditional? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's a um, you know it's hatha yoga, tantric philosophy, um, woven together through um, teachings and training from um, um, the mind body centering and. Mm -hmm. um, Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen yes. Um, yes. and her trainings. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, we, yeah, uh, we finished and graduated in December of last right. year, um, right. 2009, yeah, 2019. <laughs> oh my God, we're in 2020 now. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and so then I've actually um, put in to be one of the teacher training assistants. Oh, wonderful. That's starting their 200 hour program nice. starting in May. Wow, that's so. wonderful. So you're gonna be helping the train, the t new teachers coming in. Yeah, uh, yes. I'm hopeful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Continuing, yeah. continuing my association mm -hmm. and just my yeah. learning with the embodied yoga. Well, it's important, especially mm -hmm. when you're providing these services to the public, that you're always seeking out more, mm -hmm. um, you know, ways and knowledge of doing these things because mm -hmm. it's constantly changing. You, and you can never stop learning. No, you never. Can. No. No. no, no, through the practice. So, and I'm just renewing my uh, personal trainer certification. Yeah. So that was two years ago <laughs> too. Um, it, it's all interconnected. And, yes. You know, the personal training, um, the training of the mind, body, and movement, mm -hmm. and just how we how we move, how we can move with ease too. That's very important, isn't it? It is. Especially it as is. we age. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You want to be able to, um, you know, keep the joints healthy and the, the body healthy yeah. and balance. Balance is huge. It's, it's huge for everyone. It is. Especially as we age, right? Yeah. 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 So can you tell me a little bit about the BOSU I see over here? Sure, the, the BOSU, <laughs> BOSU is a balance trainer. Um, I actually got first introduced to the BOSU when I was working at Gold's as a group fitness instructor and have trained with Elizabeth Lenart, who is a master trainer for BOSU and Balaton and Bar. We teach it, but we teach so bar. that's been around for a while. It's um, the BOSU is actually 20 years old. Oh, wow. um, okay. It's quite the history on the BOSU on a balance trainer. Um, so it um, the gentleman who developed the and created the BOSU, David Weck. He um, actually went to school in Williams College, um, mm. and there's quite the history, and there is, I mean, it's used for all ages. It's accessible, um, it's, I mean, we kneel on it, we use it for Pilates, we stand on it, and it just gives that bio, kind of that feedback to our bodies mm -hmm. where it's low impact, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't want to pound. No. And we don't pound in here. We can use it for yoga yeah. um, and just get the feedback so that you feel the movement. And that's, that's not easy to do, a yoga pose on a BOSU. It, no, but it's, <laughs> it, it, it can be. Yeah. Sometimes it can make it accessible because you can have your knees on it. So if anybody has a knee issue, True. they're not yes. taking it all the way to the floor. See, there you go. You know? This is all these certifications that you're... That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you keep learning how you can make... I mean, we, I, you can make anything accessible to any, right. so adapt, anybody. Make adaptable props adaptable yeah. to people. Yeah. Yes, and their yeah. needs, and and yeah. and that's what you provide when you're with uh, your students. Yeah. Yeah. Class. Every everyone is, is a little bit different. Everybody's different. Everybody has, you know, some some issue of something, and and we work with it. And the you know the instructors that I have here, that the training that they've been through. Um, you know, Lisa, who comes with me, she's done all of the BOSU trainings with me. Nice. Um, and she's also a track and field official. She comes with a long history of mm -hmm. knowledge, too, and balatone and bar. Yeah. Um, it's important to yeah. have people that are very knowledgeable in what they're doing, especially yeah. if they're here to help yeah. you with this stuff. Um, what is balaton? 
A balatone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bal balatone, actually, I, again, Elizabeth Lenart is the master trainer for balatone. And so balatone is a fusion between um, ballet, fitness, standing Pilates, and again, it's low impact, but it is, um, you know, it comes with the history of, you know, uh, background in kind of ballet, so it gets us to go back to our ballerina days that, you know, yes. and it, but it's, it's, it's fluid, it's movement, and it's balanced, mm -hmm. um, strengthening, and it just gives you the, the feel good to be able to flow, to be able to mm, move. Right, right, it does the fluidity. Yep. Just the moving. And, yeah, and yeah. it's it's cardio because we will move for about 45 minutes um, nonstop, mm -hmm. um, yeah. but keep it, you know, without going anaerobic into it. It's just right. a nice heart healthy because you're gonna be yeah. pumping oxygen yeah. through those bodies right. and, and you beautiful. will get a good sweat on mm -hmm. you know because I know a lot of people think that they're not working out unless they're sweating right well, um, yeah I know <laughs> yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> and so you will you will yeah. balance is hard yeah sometimes balance and being yeah. balancing it's, in life is balancing hard. in life <laughs> balance, balance and, and interweaving on a bosu <laughs> interweaving grace through yeah, all of this grace is, yes yeah, yes. the grace. And so when you're 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 focused and balanced. Yeah, you know, and being patient. Yeah, patient and being okay with how you, you know, oh, how absolutely. we look. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So yeah. it. Yeah. And I started with the balatone back in 2009. So we're 11 years of teaching balatone. Right. 11 years of teaching pio. Wow. Um, yeah. And and I just love it. Yeah. More every year. Right. So. Now I'm looking at this beautiful color. I know you want that ball. Mm -hmm. I love that. I just love it. So All can right. you tell me a little bit? I about can. That? So we we have um, all ages mm -hmm. in here. Yes. What, what do we talk about? We have from um, yoga. So this for, is children's. This yoga. is children. Well, it's for, children's, but a lot it's, of it's my, a prop. my it's a prop. Yeah. yeah, all my adults look at this too oh because God. of the colors. <laughs> so from ages five to eighty-five. Yes. Um, this is a breathing ball. Mm -hmm. um, we have we've been doing the children's yoga classes again since 2015. Um, wonderful. There's not enough yeah. uh, children's yoga classes. And we have ages 5 to 12. Right. Um, this breathing ball, especially where the children now have, you know, they're so in their face. They're in their face and technology. The homework, even when they're doing homework, they have the computers and yep. yeah, it's yeah. everything yeah, right. constant. So to take time to just say, breathe and, and to learn how to mm -hmm. breathe. And to calm. Yeah, it sounds so easy, but right. some, you know, it, right. you know, it is a mind, being mindful and right. it's definitely important. So this, and you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah I do. I want you to do it. <laughs> so, so this breathing is how we would take it, and we would, you know, introduce that that kind of mechanics of just taking an inhale mm -hmm. and seeing the visualization of how you inhale to expand, and then That's so cool <laughs> to exhale. I love that. To let it go. Yeah. And to breathe. And it just slows things down to be able to use that breath and mm -hmm. you can visually see. Well, it, just the prop alone is going to slow them, slow them down, down, right? And yeah. just watching it and focusing on yeah. that. Yeah. Now you said it's children's yoga. It is. And yeah. Um, is there any tween yoga or is that something that like a 13, 14 would be able to go into a, a, an adult class or? We have um, fourteen with like with a parent or guy, yes. guardian, yes. Um, and but now that we've been kind of talking about it, you know that that thirteen, that poor thirteen year old is kind of like in between. So it can be an awkward age. It, it's an awkward yeah. age. So you know, while we go forward and we expand and we learn, you know, that children's yoga, maybe it is that we do from ages five to thirteen, and then fourteen is that graduation I into an so. adult class. Yeah. That tween yeah. part, that you know, even like 12, 13, 14, you know, mm -hmm. their their uh, their bodies are changing, and you know they're going to be self conscious, and so and they want to be with the older you know crowd, and yeah. so um, I think that would be a beautiful thing. Yeah, it, it's been interesting. We've had one um, one young girl that started with us when she was five. 
and she's still with us. So for the last five years, we've watched her grow and change, mm, you know, I as she that. starts to get, you know, older. But she's also, we see, you know, that she's been with us, but she starts to help the younger she's children. Done. So we, oh. it's almost like um, letting them step into kind of like a training yes. role, which has been amazing. And giving them some confidence yeah. to, to know and feel like they can help. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. So it's it's been good. And um, yoga instructor Abby Dolgas, yes. she's she did her training up at Kripalu yes. for children's yoga. She went through the yoga ed program yes. and then did her two hundred hour mm -hmm. and comes with a background of about twelve years in the public school. Oh well that helps, yes. doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So and she works with um, you know, from preschool to the kindergarten first. In that history. Perfect. So yeah. that be, that's a beautiful transition yeah. for that. So it's it's been it's been amazing. It's been wonderful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you also offer a nutritional piece. We do. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, you know, we we created and started to have you know this as the fitness because that was my. Mm -hmm my comfort level is the fitness mm -hmm. um and i am i'm not a nutritionist but um i knew that nutrition was you know fitness is only one one part of the equation well yes it's nutrition just, it's, it's huge it is really important it's really important yes so i wanted to make this a whole health and wellness facility yes. in here and mm -hmm. bring nutrition in and just bring the whole you know full circle into how we fuel our bodies and you know, the mindset about nutrition and, you know, for health and longevity. I think it's just a huge piece that we're missing, mm -hmm. um, and I know myself um, included in that, um, is it was difficult for me, and it's, you know, and I fall off that mm -hmm. <laughs> quite a bit, but, um, you know, it's, it's a mindset, and mm -hmm. not to beat yourself up, and then you can just right. get back, and it's not, it, and it's just a healthy eating uh, plan. It is. Right? It is. Yeah. Um, and taking time to prepare it for yourself, that was like, that's huge. It is. Right? Yeah. We do that, and, and the way that I brought it in is because of my association, you know, first with PIO um, as one of the fitness programs. So it was kind of a natural, just um, partnership because PIO what it is, a, um, is a team beach body fitness program. Mm -hmm. It's one of the at-home fitness programs mm -hmm. that you can do. And I loved, you know, I, I love PIO and mm -hmm. I love what it stood for. And so I did the research into, you know, becoming a team Beachbody coach. Mm -hmm. um, and so they have a nutrition, I mean, they have amazing nutrition programs. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, their baseline is their Shakeology, which uh, is a just a one once a day nutritional shake mm -hmm. and I mean I could talk a full hour on Shakeology yeah, I, I won't do you're that. telling me about your mom and how oh. she was yes yes so I started well I did it for myself first before I ever right, introduced well, it try. to the studio right, absolutely yeah and that was the one piece that I was missing mm -hmm. you know I thought that I was working out I could eat anything I wanted to well you know when you're 20 it's different when <laughs> yeah. well yeah we, but this this was still, but I still think I can <laughs> well, yeah. unfortunately you gotta think that it was I mean I was 49 I was just turning 50 mm -hmm. um, when I started uh, mm -hmm. So, I and when I started, I started to drink the Shakeology. I did it for myself, and I did it for about a month, and I felt amazing. Um, mm -hmm. And I lost ten pounds, wow. which now I've maintained. So, um, but it was just you know I used it to get all my vitamins, yes. all of my minerals, probiotics, prebiotics. Oh, right. That can be confusing. Everything. Yes. So it was it was done for me because I can't cook. <laughs> so oh, it's yeah. the healthiest meal. Yes. I'm getting better, yeah. um, but it's my healthiest meal. So, and then I, you know, introduced, of course, my mother, you know, she's like, okay, I want to do it too, because mm -hmm. I want to be healthy. And when she first started it and following the, you know, the portion fix and the nutrition program that we had to, went along with Shakeology, um, she probably killed me, but she lost 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, but... And she's, you know, she's stayed with it on um, the Shakeology. Um, and 
you know, I get a phone call from her that she's had her doctor's visit and her her sugars are low and her cholesterol is right in line where it needs to be. And she just, she's How got the... empowering that yeah. is that for her. She feels energized. She feels good. Nice. And um, so that gives her the energy mm -hmm. to do everything that she wants to do and yeah. keep going. Yeah. So yeah. that, you know, it just makes me happy that I can, you know, share, share all of that. Yeah, absolutely. And so, it's important for people to know that they're going to be coming to the studio. That... Um, I just I tried this and this is not something that I even you even approached me about or asked me about mm -hmm. um, so this is not something that's going to be forced upon mm -hmm. anybody then and you said before that maybe it's not right for everybody right either so yeah, um, yeah there, there's I mean it's a it's a additional service that we but provide that, that piece that you know, someone might be missing, you yeah. know. Yeah, you know, some people may come in here and they're just looking for the fitness. They've got something already, which is wonderful. We have a community here, so um, you can, it's almost like you build whatever you need for your so body, just, for your life. Right. Yeah, you, you can, can choose, right. choose your pieces. We build it to make it the most, right. you know, the best possible. So, you know, um, Total Body Yoga and Pilates, We've been shortening it to right. TBYP. Right, fitness. that's your your anagram. Yeah, okay. yes, and it also stands and it's on your shirt. It's on my shirt. Yes, <laughs> the team TBYP. It also stands for the best you possible. Oh, I love that. So, <laughs> so it's just you know what's going to be. Everybody's an individual. Mm -hmm. What is you know, is it the mindset piece? Is it just nutrition and not the fitness mm -hmm. and the support? Because we also offer accountability groups. Mm -hmm. So I've taken, you know, the fitness, the nutrition, and although, you know, the four walls of this studio are amazing, but we've kind of like expanded out. Yeah, so you do a lot of community serv yeah. services and, and, and allow, well, not just, not allow, um, but your, cust your customers, your, your clients um, can also be part of all that. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about... Um, those services I that can, you do, I that can. you've been doing? Um, we had, you know, we do like a community yoga class. Mm -hmm. uh, my passion is, you know, food, nutrition. Um, yes. So I thought it was natural that we would, you know, do a community yoga, yoga class for the food pantry. Nice, that's um, wonderful, I love yeah. that. So, you know, canned goods mm -hmm. we bring in. Um, so we have really, you know, like over the last, again, five years supported and love helping the local food pantry nice. neighbors helping neighbors yes. um we've also done um um connected up with um did earth day yoga oh. which is um connected up oh. with protect your breasts oh was another nice. one um, okay. one of my colleagues from embody yoga oh, beautiful. um so we did that with her um we the period project, yes. which is another one, yeah, through Zanta, Zanta International. Yes. That's wonderful. We've been doing that for about at least the three, three or four years. One yes. of my members is part of that. Um, yeah, there's just and the um, what was the other? Altair, the warriors. Um, oh, um, we've done the the um, was it the veterans? Veterans, that, yes. Yes. That we've, um, yeah, yeah. So we do a lot. That's, we that's we do just... people, you know. Um, it it's just it's how do we expand the health benefits of yoga, fitness, nutrition? Well, it comes full uh, circle, isn't it? It's it it is all of those things. And when you're really living it, then you're really you're giving it out to the community. It just doesn't stop within the studio doesn't. here. It doesn't. It doesn't. And you know. And not only like the community service and the different things we do, but I've had, you know, so many people, either they've been here and they've moved away, they're, they're able to stay connected. Oh, that's true. You know, nice. Through our new, you know, the nutrition and fitness program. Yes, yes. Which yeah. we've been running since 2016, so four wow. years now. Um, or 15, I know, yeah. I lose where's track. The time, where's the time going? I have no idea. Um, it's been amazing. Yeah. I'm excited to see where it will go from here. Yes. Yeah. Well, you, your studio is amazing. It's just so beautiful. And I remember when you first came in, yeah. um, you had a vision. I 
did. You did. I and did. it has a lot of just really cool butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> and you've accumulated quite a few. I have. And can you tell me a little bit about the butterflies? Yeah. Butterflies actually have had a life of their own. Um, <laughs> it, it, and, and honestly, that's not where I was going. When I first opened this, I was going for a, a wave, a fluid theme. Mm -hmm. Um, it came, a little like it, yeah, the, the wave of the lights yeah. and stuff. And actually, you and I had talked when I first put up the lights. But the butterflies were on a, um, it was a silk thing that I had, and I was hoping I forgot to bring it. But anyhow, mm -hmm. um, there was three little butterflies at the bottom, right. and it was like the blue butterfly transformation. Mm -hmm. It had a, a, you know, just this whole energy of its own. A beautiful meaning, yes. Yeah. And I um. I never brought anything in here. All of these have been like gifts wow. or donated or it's the members or it's the people that come through the studio doors that have just brought their energy, their life into just this. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, it just shows the, the support that you have and yeah. um, the appreciation yeah. that they have for you. Yeah. That's absolutely beautiful and we'll take a little... Scan a little score in the yeah. scan, yeah. yeah, and we had our our hearts up still because this is you know as we're That's as we're doing this, yes. it's heart healthy month. Yes. It is heart healthy month, so one of our uh, you know we run the themes and mm -hmm. um, we talk about you know how all of this comes in for heart health and nutrition. So next month, March is National mm -hmm. Nutrition Month. Yes. Um, so and what we, are you going to put up then? I don't know. <laughs> we might just stay with the hearts for a little while. And we're just, Absolutely. yeah. Um, we meet here too as, you know, nutrition and just the doors are pretty much always open. Yeah, it's just a beautiful energy. Okay. It's okay. a beautiful space. Thank you. And it has such a great history and it shows that what a passion you have for um, bringing this to the public. Yeah. It's been, just, it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think, you know, um, I would love for people to come in and check out your space. Mm -hmm. And at the, um, at, at the end of the, the show or on the credits, we'll have uh, contact information for Heidi mm -hmm. um, where you can look at her schedule and mm -hmm. uh, her times. Um, yeah, and all the, in, the in, all the energy for all the instructors that come in here and there. Yeah. Everything. Uh, yeah, it feels wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's it's been good. So yeah. I thank, love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. It's been wonderful. Yes. Uh, yeah. So remember, get inspired, get healthy, and have some fun along the way. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>